Hello Facebook, it's me again. I just kind of want to hop on and just talk with you all on something that I've been kind of thinking on today. Um, you know, a lot of times when you get that quiet time, you're able to reflect on your life and your journey and just life in its entirely. So that's what I've been doing today, just kind of doing some much needed reflecting. Um, and upon reflecting, I came across something that I think so often we really don't think about. We just go through the motion. And what I've really been thinking about today is living or existing. That's really something to think about. A lot of times when we just think of living, we just think of breathing. But you can be breathing and not be living, if, if, if that makes sense. So often we get up and we just go through the motions of life, but we're not really enjoying life. We're not really enjoying the things that God really planned for us to enjoy. You know, we have gotten so caught up in just doing the very basic um, enjoying the basic things of life. And I just believe that God wanted us to have more out of life and in life. And matter of fact, in John 10, 10, uh, it said, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I come, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Jesus died on the cross that we have this and live this freedom of life, not bondage, not being weighed down with man-made rules and tradition and religion and condemnation. That's not why he went to the cross. He went to the cross that we might have life and to have it more abundantly. But I think in our journey, again, like I was saying, we get comfortable, we get complacent. And let's let, let's just be honest here. Let's just be, if we can be transparent, we can just be honest for a minute. We do, we get comfortable. We get comfortable in our walk, in our life, in our journey. We get weighed down. At times we get frustrated, we get irritated because we're just so bogged down with rules. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't listen to this, you can't listen to that. And that takes away from enjoying life. It takes away from you enjoying your walk with God. And that's why it's so important to have a relationship with God. Because if you got a true relationship with God, you will be living. You won't just be existing. You won't just be like this puppet on a string. And so God wants us. That's, that's, I mean, that's why Jesus went to the cross. If we're going to still live in bondage, we made him going to the cross non-effect. I mean, what was the reason for it? If we're not going to enjoy life how he intended for us to enjoy it, what was the purpose of him going to the cross? Him going to the cross was for we can have abundance of joy, peace, and happiness. And you can't have those things in bondage. You can't enjoy those things when your 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 peace is is is, is constantly being compromised and challenged and you know, there's no happiness. There's, you know, there's no joy. There goes your abundance. I'm not talking about material things, but I'm talking about those things that if, because if you got peace, joy, and happiness, you're going to enjoy life. But if you're trying to live without those things, you are miserable, oftentimes frustrated. You can have jealousy in your heart. Because you see someone else doing this or you see someone else doing that and you feel like that you can't do it. You feel like you can't have it. And so you, you walk around jealous. You walk around mad. 
when all we have to do is just decide to live and live the life that God planned for us to live. You know, it takes me back to when Adam and Eve was in the garden. They were naked. They didn't, they, they didn't even know. They were just as free. They weren't judged. They weren't talked about. They were free. But now, let me put a springboard in there. Freedom is going to come with persecution. It's going to come with judgment. It's going to come with statements like this. Oh, I thought they were saved. It's going to come with all of that. But are you ready to put that aside and say, I'm ready to live? I'm tired of just existing. I'm tired of just going through the motions. And God knows deep down in my heart, I'm not happy. God knows deep down in my heart, I'm miserable. God knows deep down inside, I'm not enjoying my, sal my salvation. That I've just got comfortable with the basics of life. Living is not dead. When you're living, there's a flow of life. You're not stagnant. You're, you're producing life, vigor. You're active. You're thriving. You're glowing. Reflect over your life and say, and ask yourself, am I thriving? Am I glowing? Am I active? Am I producing life? Or am I just existing? Have I just been so weighed down that I've decided, you know what? I'm just going to operate at a basic level. I'm just going to, I'm not going to achieve, try to achieve anything over basic. I'm satisfied with the basic. I didn't got used to the norm. There's no sense of trying to do nothing different, be nothing different, learn nothing different, accept anything different. I'm comfortable now with just the basic. But basic comes with bondage. Basic comes with limitations. Basic comes with rules. And I don't know if anybody else done really sat down and looked at their lives and examined their lives and come to this like I have. Am I living or am I just existing? Am I just, am I just going through the motion? Am I just living a life of trying to please people? Am I, will I continue to live the life um, for people to think that I'm saved, that I'm living saved? I mean, because at the end, let's face it, at the end of the day, no matter what people are going to judge you, no matter what people are going to talk about you, no matter what, people's going to have their own opinion, no matter what. So if I'm going to be judged, if I'm going to be talked about, I'm going to do it and, 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 <laughs> and be happy and be at peace and have joy. Now, again, like I said, making that decision to just live life how God, had, how God planned for us to live life, it's going to come with persecution. It's going to come with judgment. It's going to come with statements like, I thought they were saved. I thought they was a Christian. But don't let that stop you. Because a lot of times people will say them things because they want to keep you where they at, where they have consciously decided to do. Where they have con consciously decided to stay. I want to bear the fruit of life. Now it did say uh, Eve, she shared some of the fruit with Adam. We got to be careful uh, 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 who's sharing fruit with us. I don't want your fruit of bondage. I don't want your fruit of complacent. I don't want your fruit of boredom. I don't want your fruit of basic. I don't want your fruit of stagnant. I, I, I don't want that. 
Be careful who's trying to give you fruit. That may not be for you. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, encourage someone. The who may, you know, watch this later or whenever. Evaluate your life. And ask yourself. Am I living? Am I producing fruit of life? Or am I producing fruit of just existing? Just here. Oh, what will be will be. This is what I'm used to. This is, this is what I was taught. This is what I've known. This is what I've experienced. Basic comes with limitations. Basic comes with bondage. I have decided. I said me. It, it, it's a personal choice. I have decided that I want to live. And I want to live in the abundance. I want to live in the overflow that was already prepared for me. And Jesus didn't just go to the cross for me. He went to the cross for all of us. But it's a choice. If we want to live in freedom. Because, uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Eve was in the garden. She was naked. She was free. <laughs> she was exposed. But here comes the devil. Tricked her. Now they realize they're naked. Now folks, is, okay, that's where the accusation comes in at now. Oh, I thought you were saved. Oh, I thought you was a Christian. Why you got on this? Why you got on that? The accusers of the saints. So we just have to get in a place. I'm going to live. I just want to, I, I just want to live. And if you don't think someone is living how you think that they should live, pray for them. Because neither one of us have a heaven or hell to put each other in. So, I just, like I said, I wasn't going to be long. It's just something that um, i just been really thinking about today. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure there, there's many of me <laughs> um, that have just been existing. And not wanting to step out with the fear of being judged, with the fear of being talked about, with the fear of, of, of like I said, that, that, that one uh, statement. Oh, I thought you were saved. Oh, I thought you was a Christian. So a lot of us, we're under that umbrella. And we're not, we're, you know, in fear of stepping out and just living how God has planned for us to live. We stay under that umbrella of that question. Oh, I thought you was. Oh, I thought you was. So, so we, we have decided to just live a life of basic. In my clothes, like I said, I wasn't going to be long. I wasn't going to be long. But I think it's time to reevaluate our lives and just get back to doing what God has called us to do in these last days and just live our best life. That's all he's ever wanted for us was to live uh, our best lives. But somehow, <laughs> you know, and, and, and the devil felt like he was going to stop the plan of God because he went in and tricked Eve. He actually thought he could stop the plan of God. But he wasn't so smart. <laughs> See, God had a ram in the bush. <laughs> so <laughs> here came Jesus, the game changer. So with him going to the cross, it didn't stop the plan of God. All it did was it took a detour. And God said, no, no, I, I, I come that they may have life. I came that they might have free, freedom. I'm a God of my word. And he had a plan. That's what Jesus came in at. Jesus went to the cross that we that we uh, would be free. That's why he went. So we could live. So what does his going to the cross mean to you? 
because the devil didn't stop the plan of God. So are you living and what the devil thought he was doing and that's stopping the plan of God? Or will you make that choice to say, you know what? I'm going to live in, from this day forward. I'm going to live with freedom. He has given us that right. He has given us that authority. He has given us that permission. We don't have to live in bondage. We don't have to live with all of these rules and uh, 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 all these things that keeps us bound down that everything we go to do, we got to question our salvation. You can't even enjoy salvation now because you got to make sure it's, li it's, 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 it's lined up with all the rules. That's not how God intended it for it to be. You can't even go to the store and shop. The first thing you got to worry about, can I, I mean, can I wear this? Uh, can I buy this? The Holy Ghost will tell you what it, whether to put that on or not or whether to take it off or not. And if you choose to override the Holy Ghost, uh, 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 there's consequences for that. But it, it's hard now as a saint just to enjoy going shopping. You got to sit and think before you pick this up and look at it. No, I can't wear that. They'll talk about me if I put on that. They'll talk about me if I put on this. They're going to talk about you if, if you don't put it on. It's time to really just get back to just living life. Because one thing I've learned, we will never please people. We will never please each other. And oftentimes we wear ourselves out trying to please one another. And that's impossible. That's impossible to do. So I'm going to read this cross reference from John 10 and 10. It says, it said, in contrast to the thief, who takes life. Jesus gives life. See bondage. You're lifeless. But Jesus went to the cross. He went so that we have life. The life he gives right now. Is abundantly. It's richer and it's fuller. And it's eternal. Yet it begins immediately. It begins the moment you decide. To live. It begins the moment you decide you're not going to allow um, what other people say to determine whether or not if you saved or not. You're not going to walk in the bondage in the. You're just going to live the life that God has orchestrated for you to live, and not in the bondage of where where people want to keep you. Okay, life in Christ is lived on a higher plane. Because of its overflowing of forgiveness, love, guidance. And I'm going to leave you with this question. Have you taken Christ's offer of life? Have you accepted the true reason why Jesus went to the cross? Why he went through everything that he went through? Being beat, being speed, spit on, being crowned, being through all of that. For us to still live in bondage. To me, that makes it look like the devil stopped the plan of God. If you're going to still live in bondage. The question is, have you taken Christ? offer it's an offer it's an offer i mean that's just like somebody give you a gift it all depends on what you decide to do with it whether you want to sit it on the shelf and just let let it allow it to collect dust or you want to take it and give it to somebody else because you may feel like that you don't have no use for it but it's a gift and it's all in what you choose to do with it well i i i hey I done made up in my mind. I'm going to use mine. And that's the question I want to leave you with today. Have you taken Christ's offer? It's an offer. 
He ain't going to make you. He ain't going to force it up on you. Have you taken Christ's offer of life? He paid the ultimate price for us to have life, for us to have freedom, for us to be filled with peace and joy and happiness. We are living beneath what God plan for us because we have allowed all of these things to keep us in bondage and I challenge you today to, to make the decision to accept the offer to live and again I, I want to be clear I, I, you know it's going to come with persecution It, it may come with people backing away from you, not talking to you. Where they went from talking to you to now they're talking about you. Again, you hear that statement. I thought you were saved. I thought you was a Christian. Because it's going to come with that. <laughs> I'm, I, hey, I'm here to tell you now, it's going to come with that. But Jesus went through. He went through so that we can have life. I don't want to devalue him going to the cross with continuing to live in bondage. I just, you know, I, you know, I, I just, I, I can't do that anymore. There's no enjoyment in that. There's no peace in that. There's no happiness in that. Actually, it weighs you down. It takes a toll on you. And at this point in my life, I just want to live, be happy, do the will of God, and just be who God called me to be. Some will agree, some may not agree. I can't, you know, I can't even worry about that. I can't worry about that. Because my journey may not be your journey and vice versa. But I just think it's time for us to really just get back to doing the will of God and living the life that he died on the cross for us to live. I mean, it's just, it's really just that simple. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. When you when you have been brought up a certain type of way and you've seen different things, you've learned different things, you've taught different things. It's not easy to get that up out of you. It's not. Because first, first, before anybody else can condemn you, you're going to condemn yourself. But that's where you have to pray and ask God to help you and to deliver you. That's something you're going to have to be delivered from. And it's not going to, it's not, trust me, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take deliverance. But I think you're going to find so much peace. When we just live how God want us to live. I want to be like, I want to be like Eve in the, Adam and Eve in the garden. I don't mean that in a physical fence, <laughs> uh, 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 in a physical aspect, but I'm just, you, you know, I just want to be free. That's, that's, that's what I mean, you know? So, and I don't know, you know, I'm just saying, I, I'm just speaking for me. I'm just, I can only speak for me. If you happy where you at, I'm not, I'm not knocking nobody for where they at or any of that. Let me just make that disclaimer. If you happy, if you happy where you at, I'm loving where you at. I ain't got no problem with it at all. I'm not, I'm not coming against nothing or nobody. I just wanted to hop on and just share that with someone because I, I I know there's there's I've talked to a few people so I, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. And everybody you see smiling is not happy. 
Everybody, you see with a long skirt down to their shoes and you can't, you don't even know if they got on heels or if they got on sneakers. That don't mean they happy. If you run them to them and they, and they blouse or shirt is buttoned all the way up and they can't hardly swallow, that don't mean they happy. Matter of fact, it's just the opposite. That's if they be honest. <laughs> you know, a lot of folks don't want to be honest now. Because again, you know, you got to look apart. So, I, I, I'm not wanting to continue to just look apart. I don't want just a form. I want to truly be happy from within. And I have to allow God to purge certain things out of me, off of me. That's not going to feel good. Because like I said, you're used to what you're used to. You know what you know. But I do believe when you go to God and you say, God, I just want to live life how you intended for me to live it. It's going to look different. It's going to feel different. Everybody not going to be in, agree in, in agreement. I'm sorry. And a lot of it is going to come from a place of believers, unfortunately. But you just got to be determined. And you got to say to yourself, Jesus went to the cross. He suffered. He gave up his life for me to be free. And I'm going to cover myself up with fig leaves. The devil is a lie. I'm going to cover myself up. For what? To please you? I don't think so. I have made it my choice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live in freedom. Why? Because Jesus paid the ultimate price. And he didn't just pay it for me. He also paid it for you. But it's a choice. It's a, it, it, he, he, it's an offer. Will you accept his offer of life? We all have a choice. So with that being said, again, I want to thank each and every one that's going to uh, hopefully watch this and watch it to the end. Again, I'm still new. I think this is what, video number three. <laughs> so, you know, I'm still tweaking certain things and learning certain things. I'm not ready to uh, just go live yet. You know, I'd rather do the video and um, have a chance to go back and review it. And, uh, you know, I ain't ready to do the whole live thing yet. But uh, God is good. Um, but again, but again, I mean, I, I think this, this, this is just so important. It's so important um, to ask yourself. Am I living? Do I have that thrive? Do I have that glow? Am I active? Am I producing life? Or am I just existing? Have I just accepted the basic? Have I just been so worn out from the weight of rules and regulations and 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 till I've just I'm just tired and I'm just okay with just existing. I, I, I just have accepted that this is just what it is. I done been this way for too long. I'm just going to stay like I am. That's a choice too. But remember that comes with bondage. It comes with limitation. And it comes with rules. And it takes away your happiness. Your joy. And your peace. So until next time. Make the decision to live. It's a choice. And a price was paid. That you have life. And that you have it more abundantly. It didn't just say abundantly. It says more abundantly. And that choosing basic. You've decided, I'm just going to stay like this. 
I know I'm, I'm comfortable with this. And, and again, that's a choice. That's a choice. But there's so much more benefit when you choose life, when you choose to live. But the benefits is going to come. The true benefits is going to come when you decide to live the life that God intended for us to live. Remember, the devil thought he could stop the plan of God. It was just detour. It was just uh, detour. That's all it was. It just took a detour. It didn't stop it. So make the choice to live the life of freedom. Live that detoured life. Don't live the life that looked like the devil defeated God's plan. Because that's bondage. Make the choice to live the life that Jesus went to the cross for. And again, I thank each and every one that's going to uh, watch this. Um, I hope it, you know, some, you, listen, if it only touches one person, if it only changed one person's life, that's good enough for me. I, you know, it is what it is. But I know what it's like not to be happy, not to be free, just feel bound and um, just weighed down. But it's a choice to say, today I'm going to live. And today that choice was made. And I hope God can give you the strength to make that choice. And again, it's not going to be easy. People may come up against you. People that used to hang with you may draw back from you. I want to apologize for that. A phone call came through and before I can do anything, it just completely knocked me off. But with that being said, I just want to thank each and every one that may watch this. And I hope and pray that it touches someone's um, heart, that it gives someone the strength that they need, that they've been praying for, um, that they're able to just make the decision to just live how God has um, planned for us to live. Because it's not fun living in bondage. It's not fun trying to live and you're weighed down and you're not enjoying your salvation. Or it's hard for you to um, come in alignment or to give your life to God because you see so much of all this other stuff. So I hope this really touched someone, it brings someone out and it gives someone hope that you can live the life that God intended for us to live and be happy and enjoy life. So God bless and I appreciate each and every one that decided to watch this video. God bless.